All uh, right then, Mark, it is over to you to see what you're cooking for us this morning. Yeah, that's right. We've got chicken on the menu tonight. So we've got this beautiful whole, chi whole chicken here. The recipe calls for thighs, so I'm going to show you how to break down this chicken. It's always a good idea to get whole chicken, a little bit cheaper in the supermarkets. I'll show you how to break it down after, and then you can use it for multiple recipes over the week. It's great. Right, it's going to be a really Mediterranean theme to this recipe. Uh, we've got the chicken thighs here. We've got a, we're going to make a nice little rich tomato stock. We've got lots of fresh flavors like eggplant, olive oil, balsamic vinegar, black olives, and lots and lots of garlic. It's going to be absolutely great. Come back a little bit later. Mike's going to be breaking this down, and that's how easy it is. And we're going to make this fantastic, easy dish, which is all in one pan, um, and it's going to be brilliant. So join me later. Over to you, Mel. We are back in the cafe kitchen with the one pot dish that's simple and very tasty and apparently I'm going to be breaking down, br 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 breaking down some chicken. Is that what I'm doing? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, I'm, a little, I'm a little I'm, bit nervous about this. No, I'm sure you've done it before. Okay, taught by the master. Okay, so let's get this started. Right, this is an eggplant, okay, yes. or an aubergine. So I'm going to get this on first, yeah, uh, and then I'm going to let you loose on the chicken. Okay, cool. Right, so what we want to do, we're going to build uh, this dish up in layers yep. in the uh, pot. Okay. So I'm just going to do some nice strips lengthways, sort mm -hmm. of about a centimetre thick. Yeah. You know, so you've got a nice bit of aubergine. And then tip of your knife, we're just going to score it like so. Eight out of ten. Thank you. <laughs> a dad joke, sorry. Um, <laughs> just wait until you do the chicken. Yeah, okay, sweet. Um, okay, so score it. And we're using a um, griddle yeah. pan, aren't so we? So we're, we're going to use a griddle pan. So this has been on the heat now, so it's getting nice and hot. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we want to really sear it and we want to get those um, beautiful marks on there. And that's okay. going to give us some flavour in the eggplant as well. So Yum. plenty of olive oil. And then I'm going to start doing that in a sec. Okay. Right, and that's ready to go on. Yes. Right, so. That's the eggplant. Okay. So the chicken. Oh, can I just say, 10 points for using corn-fed free-range chicken from Rangatake. That is awesome. That's my chicken of choice. Uh, no, it's great, isn't it? And corn-fed as well, like so much flavour. Yeah. And Have you done this before? Um, I think maybe last year with you. Can you remember? No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what I did yesterday, man, let alone last year. <laughs> All right, so, so, so basically you've got your whole chicken there, so you've got your breast at the top, you've got your legs, um, so uh, drumsticks on the top, thighs at the bottom, and then you've got your wings there. So lots of different um, areas of the chicken to use. You know, all suited for different recipes and stuff. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm going to show you one side and then you can do the other side. Okay, cool. Right, so start off with the breast. So I have the legs facing away. Yep. So down the centre, if you run your fingers down, you've got a nice, uh, you've got the backbone there. Yep. Okay. Right, so you're going to take your knife and just run your knife along that backbone. Okay. okay. So make an incision all the way down, and you've got the wishbone here. So okay, you can cool. see that there. So you're not chopping through the wishbone, you're just uh, making. Not yet. Well, not you, yet. you can do, or you can just go around. Yep. And then you just want to use the tips of your knife, and you're just going around, following the rib cage around. Okay. You just take your time, you know, and because if you go too fast, you're just going to leave lots of meat on the carcass. Nice. So you're just going around there. So you're taking the breast off. So you can cut through there, and then that uh, cuts through the wing. So your wing's right. still on there. OK, That's cool. That's a supreme. And, and I guess a sharp knife is very helpful for this oh, sort of stuff. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Uh, get your leg and then pop it out of the joint. So you can see the bones come out of here. Oh, that's what's floating back to me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky. Why did everyone laugh? <laughs> <laughs> and then just get your knife in between the bone yeah. and the ribs, and you can just take it off there. And then oh, there. there you've got a side of chicken there. Nice work. Right. So then, good tip here now is just to just uh, spread the skin back over the meat, mm -hmm. and then you can just cut through there, Piece separate the it off. Yep. Leave the wing on if you want. Turn it over. Cut around here to take nice. the wing off. Yep. There's your breast, there's your leg. Right. And then you've got a bone here. Just go through that drumstick, thigh. Whoa! Thigh. Okay, cool. Righty-o. Let's have right. a go. All yours. Here we go. Sweet. Okay, oh, I've forgotten what you did straight away. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we'll be popping the bone out, aren't we? No, no, you're going to no. go down the backbone. Down the backbone. So yeah. I turn it over? No, no. No? Oh. No, 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 what so was I together. doing before? So tip of the knife, down the backbone. Oh, all the yeah, way that's down. right. Sweet. Okay, cool. Okay, and you're putting you the aubergines on while yeah. I massacre this chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so we're going to do the aubergines now, so really hot pan, olive oil in there, and we want to get that nice colour. So it does take a bit of a while, but just keep having a look at it, but until you get that nice, dark, almost burnt colour, uh, don't turn it. Okay, cool. 
Right. And luckily, this recipe, we're only going to use the thigh. <laughs> 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 no, but this is really handy, because sometimes it's cheaper to buy a whole chicken and it make is. your own portions, isn't it? Is, it is, yeah, so. you get a good deal uh, on whole chicken, so you can get the whole chicken, you know, you can break it down, yep. you know, get a couple of them, use them for different recipes over the week, and then you've got the carcass there and you can make your own stock. Right, yeah, no. sweet. Well, I tell you what, I need to concentrate <laughs> on this. Luckily, we're out of time right now, so I'll keep working away. <laughs> That's where we are now. It is. Yeah, and I've done all right with this meat over that break. It was nice. Yeah, it looks really good. Yeah. So that, that's how you break down a chicken. You've got all your different pieces. You can make your stock and lots of fantastic Yes, yeah, so you don't recipes. want to waste this, do you? You just nope. boil it up, make some chicken stock. Exactly. There's heaps of meat left on it. Brilliant. There. And then the other tip we learned that one day is to put up... There's heaps of meat left on it. Thanks. I missed that. Um, no, you can put your chicken stock into ice cubes and then freeze it. Exactly. There you go. Exactly. And no waste, which is that's yep. what we love in the kitchen. Nice work. Right, so eggplants are here, so we've got these nice beautiful marks on here. Both sides, it's softened uh, a little bit, the eggplant. So we're going to build this up on the base of our uh, dish. Yeah, it smells good. So we were saying it was a one-pot wonder and we're yeah. using three pots. Hi, true. <laughs> but this is just to show you each different stage, you know. Right. You could actually just do this on top of each other. OK, and nice. And keep taking it out and put it back in. A little bit of balsamic vinegar. Yum. Over the eggplant. Yeah. Um, really, um... A really nice combination. Yeah. yeah plant, smells vinegar. good already. Yeah, that's really good. And that's going to, uh, you know, enhance the uh, sauce and everything because everything's going to cook in this one pot. So I've got the chicken thigh here. So I've got some as well because we were a bit um, slow on breaking it down. <laughs> but all you, all you need to do now with these is just take the thigh bone out and take the skin off. You can do it with the skin if you really want. So nice hot pan again. Yep. Don't overcrowd the pan. And I'm just going to get some nice colour on these thighs, OK? <laughs> it's like Mal over summer. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'll be back soon. I'm just going to get some nice colour on my thighs. <laughs> OK. <coughs> do you want me to do right. anything? Yeah, so, so we've got some garlic here, which is yep. just roughly uh, chopped, which right. is fine. And we've got some fresh tomatoes. You know, great uh, in the garden as well. You know, all the tomatoes are ripening up now. You've almost got too many of them. So this is a perfect recipe and perfect dish to use mm. them up. So all we're going to do is just roughly chop them, but just make sure you've got really ripe ones. OK, cool. Yeah, there is, um, I've got <laughs> heaps of people tend seem to be dropping off tomatoes at the moment, so this is good. Use them up. Yeah, it's brilliant. And then, so the whole thing is we'll build in a sauce around the chicken. That's going to help cook the chicken. It's going to help cook the, uh, the eggplant. And it's just going to reduce, and it's just going to have this wonderful, fresh, beautiful Mediterranean flavoured uh, sauce. And then we're just going to do some crusty bread. Yep. You can dip it in, you can eat your chicken, it's going to be great. Ah, oh, that sounds incredible. OK, anything else you need me to do? So, uh, do you want another tomato? No. Yeah, do another tomato. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you just want me to do another tomato, so, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not annoying you. I think that's what he's saying there. Yeah. <laughs> OK. No, no, so that's good. So, you know, start getting a bit more colour on there. And then all we're going to do is build it up. So I'll start flipping the chicken. We can keep turning it till we get that colour. I'm just going to show you what else you need to do now. So in the same pot as your chicken, just going to put some garlic in there. Yep. You now you can have a nice high heat there. We want to release the uh, garlic oil. It's nice and fast. You know, a little bit of colour on this is uh, quite good now. You know, it'll give us a different flavour. Cool. We've got some bay leaves as well. It's going to work really no uh, well with the tomatoes. So that's all cooking. Nice. And then we're going to put the tomatoes in, so you can pop them in there as well. OK. Oh, this dish is heavy. Got them all yep. in? Yep, oh, pop yeah, them cool. all in. So just pop them in, let it fry for a couple of minutes or so, and then the heat's just going to break it down. And you can see the liquid's coming out of the tomatoes now. So it's just going to create a sauce around the chicken. A little bit of brown sugar in there, just to give an extra little bit of sweetness and sort of balance off that balsamic vinegar. Get to that, and then we're just going to pop our stock in. And we've got lemon there. We can do a little bit of lemon zest as well for some freshness. Yep. And a little bit of the juice. Mm. And then you bring all this up to the boil. We're going to put the uh, chicken thighs on top of the eggplant. OK. And then we're going to pour all the ingredients over the top, bang it into a hot oven, about 160 degrees, for about 30, 40 minutes. Fantastic. Beautiful. Nice work. I'm, I'm so looking forward to it. And you can catch the recipe at thecafe.co.nz. OK, now from a live chicken to one that's baked. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't very well planned. <laughs> but how did it turn out, Mark? Uh, brilliant. Probably better than the uh, piano. <laughs> um, so it's just come out of the oven. So you can see that sauce is just reduced. It's full of flavour. It's going to be great. Look at that. You guys want to try it? Oh, yes, yes. please. Bring it over. 
That looks spectacular. Yeah. Why check him across the road? Oh, don't know. To get to Mike and Mel. Oh, very good. I don't know good. why. <laughs> <laughs> what is on the menu tomorrow? <laughs> uh, tomorrow we've got pork on the menu and we're doing smoky pulled pork buns. Oh, they sound delicious. Uh, also on the show.